Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Ah. Oh, trying to get this heaven agenda going on, you know. You know, here's the thing about, I want to show people um, about manifestation. You know, manifestation concerning the things of God is not all about, you know, people think that, you know, like it says, praise the Lord and magnify him high above the earth. You know, you hear that song, praise the Lord, magnify him. But here's the idea you think is really, it's not so much as much as God is, you know, uh, you, you declare that God is great. Yes. But guess what? God is great. Even if you don't declare he's great, he is great. But praise him, I'm going to show you that praise is about you realizing that. <laughs> really, it's about you realizing that God is great. You know, it's not about you know you you go, it's not you praising God and putting him up in heaven no you no in the in the reality he's he's great he is already great but it's a matter of you seeing that you seeing that not 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 he's not you got to put him up great no you supposed to put him great hello him great in your heart you you is in your heart for you to see it. Because, you know, I love what Chris Tomlin verse, you know, I love to tell people, you know, how great is our God is really not just a song about how good it is, but it's saying something, it's, been, it's trying to reveal a reality to you if you are humble enough and see the rea revelation of it that, you know, it's, it's, it's not about you making God great. God is already great. God already been great ever since you wasn't here you know what i'm saying ever since the world wasn't here you know like i love you know what chris thomas said i mean uh, uh michael w smith on say above all you know he talks about before the world began before he was great before the world began not no you didn't make him great you didn't make god great god was great before you ever existed but praise is about helping you realize helping you realize he's great helping you realize you don't see he's great you think this world is great you know what I'm saying the, the, the world put their stuff on television and radio and all the aspects and you listening and you believing that that is great and you are magnifying those things and you, the things of this world, you know, and you saying it's great because you see the the re in the world, of course, give you this reason why it's great, a reason why this car is great, reason why this house is great, reason why this boat is great, reason why whatever they put on television is great, reason why this restaurant is great, reason why this store is great, reason why they keep giving you reasons and reasons and reasons and you go out and praise, you don't realize, but you go out there and praise and and worship him but you go out there and seek and find what you want concerning the earth yeah seek and find your products you know you seek and go in your car because you saw the commercial and go find it and go and pray and, and, and go really go worship it you know I'm gonna show you how it works you they're praising it on the commercial you know and they got they praise it to the point that you go worship, you go uh, offer your strength and get up and get in your car, you know, your strength and energy and go or walk or run to the place and you will offer the energy within your heart to go find or go get that item or, or go see that person. Mm, yeah, they, 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 you know, you go out and go find that item or that person and you don't realize it in worship. <laughs> uh, yeah, and they trying to, you know, is magnify people and product. That's the system of this world uh, to keep you not understanding that uh, God is great and greatly to be praised. And God is wait, wait, the Jehovah Jireh. He's the provider. Yeah, you know what what Jesus said in Matthew 6, you know, don't do what the Gentiles seek, you know what I'm saying? Just seek ye first the kingdom of God, you know? 
and all these things will be added, you know? All these you busy trying to go after, 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 after. But if you seek you first the kingdom of God and praise and worship God and say God is great and greatly to be praised, he will bring provision to you to give you the, these temporal items. Temporal items, that's me. Uh, that's the uh, that's the measurement, you know, and I keep telling people the ingredients of the earth is Without form void darkness Yes, the people and products, you know that you're seeking after that, you know uh, That's what the whole objective of the system of this world to keep you seeking after people and products and to get you to magnify it and magnify it to the point that you will position you to sin yes position you to sin but God's you know system is about magnifying it to place you in a position of salvation you know when you start testifying about what the things that Jesus Christ has done for you to other people you get in the reality mindset of salvation that you will be about you know rewarding <laughs> true worship rewarding and giving back to God to you know help share the word of God to others that don't know it and thing is uh, that's what the whole idea concept about you know praise and worship is all about you know and oh see but when you you know when people see what you gotta understand what King David says praise him with your dance praise him with your voice praise him with no, people think praise and worship is, you know, instruments and all that. No, we're using that to praise him. That that is not praise, you know. We're praise is really exalting. It means exalting things higher above, you know. And that's the, you know, serpent say Satan, the god of this world's trick that blind got everybody blind because everybody's, you know, seeing their products on commercials and going after you know whatever people or product uh on there and say and be about investing in these people and products but the thing is is we're supposed to be about praising the lord and exalting him high above everything you know and like i tell people uh isaiah 14 is all about you know satan being high above the stars of god you know and really oh i uh um, well, the, really the stars of God means stars is referring to angels being, you know, above the angels of God. And what I'm trying to tell people about the planets, you know, people naming these planets, you know, Jupiter, Saturn, and out of, you know, evil spirits, you know, that were, you know, giants in the time of, you know, uh, Noah, uh, well, Enoch, and they, they're, they're giving, they're exalting evil over good you're putting evil in heaven they're they're declaring in their words putting evil in heaven you know instead of understanding that you know and that's a whole agenda of satan's you know principalities and powers are all about you know being exalted higher than the scars that's what isaiah was trying to show you concerning the uh you know planets you know that's in heaven yeah the heavenly bodies they call them yeah and you know as much as you don't you keep declaring and calling the planets and stuff like that that satan stays high above the stars you know you start declaring with our words and i told you you should know the power of names by now if you know anything about you know the things of god you know names mean something yeah. that's why you hear the name of the lord and all that the name of god you know but that's the praise plan and that Satan is cooked up, you know, and the praise, but we need to be about, uh, simple about God's praise plan is magnifying God and magnifying God with our obedience will be nice. Yeah. Our obedience can praise God of obeying his word, you know, sharing forth the gospel of Jesus Christ, you know, fellowshipping mainly. You know, hearing the word of God, applying the word of God each and every day of life. Sharing is very important, you know, concerning the kingdom of God. Just sharing information. It's not being that you know everything. It's just sharing it 
and just compounding with other people that has a different outlook and revelation to it. But 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 it should lead to agreement. It's, if it's of if somebody's of the kingdom of God, they should lead to agreement concerning the word of God. It shouldn't lead to disagreement. You know, that's what the system of Satan, you know, want us disagree. You know, that's what true, true. And, you know, people don't under realize that when they disagree with the word of God, you're not, you have demoted God. Yeah, when you disagree with the word of God, you have demoted. God was up here. Now, the more you disagree with the word of God concerning your words and actions, you demote the kingdom of God in your heart. In your heart now, now God is high and lifted up Regardless you know But you know the reality Oh yeah I want to show the reality Reality But the clouds Are the test of is the, the reality is right there In front of our face It's You see You see the world You see everything But I know there's no clouds In the sky where I'm at right now But the clouds Supposed to show you That God is high and above the earth you got, got everything that is pure, everything that is good, everything is wonderful, is high above the earth. That's what the clouds are testifying, that God is high above, you know, anything. He's high and lifted up, whether you don't praise him or not. Let me say that again. Whether you don't praise God or not, he's still high above. But praise and worship is to help you see that God is great. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, but you keep declaring these uh, idiots, evil spirits, you know, uh, you know, Jupiter, Saturn, and Mars, and heavenly places that they don't belong. They belong on, in hell, you know, they under our feet, under the earth. Satan's supposed to be under our feet. His system is supposed to be under the ground, but y'all exalting his system above the heavens, you know, they calling, uh, declaring stuff that, you know, of evil spirits is ridiculous. Um, but the, the the education system is teaching y'all. But heaven, of course, your churches, if it's of the true church of the kingdom of God, supposed to teach you, no, no, Sunday is the day of Michael. Sunday is the, I mean, Monday is the day of Gabriel. Uh, uh, the, you know, the church is supposed to be teaching this. I, I'm not supposed, uh, God told me to teach you this, but the church is supposed to teach you this. But if they're not teaching you this, that means they're not operating according to the kingdom of God. And they're allowing the kingdom of darkness to call it Mo Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They allowing. See, that's what I'm trying to tell you about what's the crooked about the system of the kingdom of the church. They're allowing darkness, you know, to continue to get territory of days. And days are important. As you know, God created days in the beginning. You know, it should be important in God because it's the first thing God do. And you know God about first things first. He valued what he did first. First thing he did in the, of course, he, uh, uh, get Genesis first chapter, he created the earth in days. Now you taking the thing, that very important thing that God put first thing first and declaring it among, you know, darkness. You know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That is the form of pra uh, praise. Like I'm trying to show you the praise and worship concerning the days and the planets. You know, I, that, is a, that is a form of praise and magnify. You magnify, you know, dar darkness every time you say Monday and Tuesday. You didn't really know that you were doing that because Satan's a great deceiver because he knows about how to work the kingdom system because he's from heaven. He knows the game better than you do because you're a creation of earth that was created by a heavenly God and the heavenly God is trying to help you see the heavenly idea that you're supposed to do if you want to truly reign in victory all right that's the message so I hope you understand that that's really truly magnifying the Lord you know, you know what I'm saying not just you praising and jumping and singing and all that kind of stuff that you declaring like what King David did declaring the things of the Lord if you read Psalms all his songs and he'll teach you everything all right that's the message I hope you understand that declaring the Lord and truly praising and worship God and magnify him for who he is all right to God be the glory to him forever and ever in Jesus name amen Mm-hmm. <laughs>